From the folks who brought you E. coli and salmonella, factory farms are breeding something new for the American public. Drunk resistant superbugs. Ain't he cute? After pumping millions of pounds of antibiotics into healthy animals for years to make them grow fatter on less feed, factory farms have become breeding grounds for these brand new super cute super bugs that can't be beat by common antibiotics. But it's not only super bugs on the agribusiness menu. There's talk they've also been serving up asthma, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. And it wasn't easy. They had to buy 80% of all the antibiotics in the country and feed it to their critters. And that means billions of dollars being paid to drug companies. And the animals aren't even sick in the first place, though they often do wind up sick at the end. But then they're dead meat anyway, so who cares? But wait, you don't even have to eat the meat. The drugs are in the hundreds of millions of pounds of raw sewage that gets dumped around the factories and the manure that gets sprayed on fields as fertilizer. And even if you decide to stop eating anything at all, they get into the drinking water. And you can't live without water, can you? So you're getting them no matter what. Don't you worry. Yep, it's a lot of work making these super duper bugs, believe you me. But they're not doing it alone. They've got big pharma spewing out the drugs and politicians like Danny Reberg in Montana watching their backs. So say hello to the superbug coming to a child near you.